you asshole! You're worse than Batman! So that's what that feels like. Look at this. Hmm. Our canary has started to sing. Kenji? Sartre 7? Huh? It's a new club for people with more money than common sense. I've been there before! <laughs> okay! Point to you, anime! That was a good one. The Five figure that the club is a front to traffic the young, supple slaves and decide to carry out an undercover sting to thwart the operation. And it looks like that'll be their only lead, seeing as how the kidnapper who squealed has a new hole in his chest. And for some reason, the anime decides that this is a perfect chance to have a non sequitur video game parody. Before your very eyes, the forces of hell begin to rise once more. Now you must rescue the princess from their eternal clutches. Play Quest Dragon! Number 31. Pray for eternity. A new legend will be born! That... That's it? You went so far out of your way for a lame Dragon Quest joke, and then, as if to spite us, you just let that joke hang in silence like a bloated corpse at the end of a noose for five seconds. Did Andy Kaufman write this? The girls set out on the town trying to act as the honey in a trap to capture the McCoy gang in the middle of an abduction, which means that Maki has to wade through the painful sight of white people dancing, while Rainy is... in hell? I have a feeling that this is supposed to be another non sequitur parody, but of what, I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that the music is entirely wrong. I'll give Burn Up some slack since it's difficult to portray humor across a language and cultural barrier, as I've gone extensively into in my Ultimate Teacher review. At the very least, you could say that Burn Up's jokes are aimed more broadly than your typical anime comedy. How broadly? Rambo broadly. It's just too bad that they can't seem to write a joke that goes beyond, Hey, there's a lot of sequels to Dragon Quest and Rambo, am I right? Seems that Yuka forgot how a honey trap works and gets herself kidnapped. And even renegade Maki here is unable to stop it, since no one can beat a fucking ninja in the shadows. The girls manage to recover at the police hospital, and yes, the police have their own hospital in this world, when they find out despite everything that happened that night, the police got nothing. How'd it go? It didn't. Well, why not? Same reason as always. We got no solid evidence. Until we can prove it was McCoy, the top brass won't give us a warrant. A cop being kidnapped from his nightclub isn't enough? Circumstantial. So, the fact that you got a confession from a known member of the McCoy gang saying that they like to hang out at that bar, and you also know for a fact that several of the kidnapped women were last seen at that bar, and yet... Circumstantial. The fucking cops and Gone Girl were better detectives than these assholes. And those motherfuckers couldn't smell fish in a Seattle cannery. So you say you were hit by this blunt instrument and lost pints of blood? Yes. Where were you hit again? Cause you don't look like you have a wound that's capable of spurting that much blood out. I don't know. Well, that's good enough for me. Who's up for shenanigans? It looks like it's more than just police incompetence that's keeping McCoy free, though. Chief, can't you do something? McCoy's got some powerful friends. You're the ace detective. You go figure it out. There's gotta be a way. Do you think I'd be sitting here if there was? That wasn't a clip. That was the entire scene. All right, that's it. There's only one thing left to do. Maki, you don't mean... We can't! It could cost us our badges! And what about Yuka? Fuck her. Well, my words have fallen on deaf ears as the two decide to go rogue and rescue Yuka and bring McCoy to justice, donning these ridiculous battle suits, which I remind you are police-issued and commandeering a tank. God, is this guy Kirk Douglas, or did he take this call during a I just ate Thai food fiery shit? We've got reports of gunfire in Sumida, section 4, block 7. Oh. 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 
Now let me scramble the SWAT team, Chief! I'll take all the responsibility! Okay, now he's just channeling Dr. Weird. It's not different at all! Is it Steve? <laughs> the cops say fuck it, due process is for pussies, and decide to roll out on McCoy's mansion. And even though McCoy knows that the cops can't do anything within the legal parameters, he has his men open fire on the cops, thereby completely negating the point of buying the officials off. Meanwhile, Raimi and Maki storm the mansion and rescue Yuka, and the anime basically plays out in one long protracted firefight. It's actually kind of a letdown that the last 15 minutes are basically canned shots of the girls firing assault rifles, often at targets we never see. It's a bad sign that your anime has to compete for the audience's attention with their watches. Of course, the girls are in trouble when McCoy makes his entrance, mocking them with glancing shots and general bad guyness. but Hubris proves his downfall when the cops manage to break through his guard. And honestly, it just feels like the anime was just itching to end itself, because this is literally the ending. Hello. Banba! <laughs> hmm. And that's that. Well, that was certainly worth 20 bucks. The anime is barely 40 minutes long, and considering what happens in that 40 minutes, they really had to stretch the paper-thin plot to get at that length. I have covered plenty of different kinds of anime over the years, but this may be the first title I would call inconsequential. There is literally nothing about the show that justifies its existence, which is made more painful by the fact that it does have the capacity of some surprisingly good jokes and impressive moments of animation, but it simply doesn't have enough of the both of them. Even the most forgettable anime I've talked about does serve and meet a need that the viewer might have, but I can't think of one reason to watch Burn Up. It's not bad enough to be funny, it's not good enough to be good, and it's not sexy enough to be fanwink material. I suppose you could take this to mean that Burn Up is one of the worst anime I have ever reviewed on this show, but I wouldn't even give it that much, because it doesn't deserve to be the most of anything. It just exists. That's all I can really say about it. Hmm. Well, lucky for the both of us, I do have a lot to say about our next title. It's about time we dropped in on our favorite...